Hey guys, Flavien here, dedicated buyer for ATL JDM in Japan, and we are at the shop for this one. Uh, because, well, it didn't get a full photo shoot because it does need some work. So, I mean, so if some customers want to see the car, they will be able to, but it will need, need to get a bit of work. Like you can see, it's been hit in the front here. And uh, it is a 1997 Subaru Sambar KV3 Supercharged. Yes, two. Whew. Uh, that's a long name. Uh, <laughs> so, um, this one, so KV3 means that it is a rear wheel drive. Uh, rear wheel drive van. Uh, Subaru Sambar are also rear engine, so it's like pretty much a Porsche. Uh, and we are with a pretty nice example of one, if we accept for that front impact, that's kind of why we bought it. It is, uh, the, the paint is in good condition, like it does have some different wheels, I'm not gonna say they're nice, it depends on, each other's, on, on everyone's taste, I would say. But uh, yeah, if we accept that front impact there, which is like definitely a minor fender bender, uh, so it doesn't really have fenders, but yeah, I mean, you see what I mean? Um, it is actually in very good condition, so we can see a little bit of the impact there. So definitely will have to be pulled in multiple places, but it's nothing that, uh, that a shop can't fix and that will be done like fairly easily. You can see that the, the bolt here is pulling the how can I say? Uh, the bumper is like if you look from here, the bumper is not straight, so I can't even pull the plate normally here. Uh, but uh, if you see that once it's going to be pulled, like everything will be straight and normal again. Uh, other than that, there's not going to be much else to talk about with this one. Uh, you can see that uh, typical thing when there's a front end impact that did not change the position of the doors. That's a very common issue on same bars that have been crashed. The doors get pushed and it just doesn't close anymore. Of course, same thing with the other side. Up. No issues there. That's a very good thing because it's a bit annoying to pull and it's like really just, it is annoying. Uh, I had to deal, my, actually my Subaru same bar is like that. It's been crashed and when I got it, it was still like really, like quite crashed here and I had to get it pulled out. Uh, it was cheap, so that was fine, but uh, yeah, still annoying. So this one is a CVT. CVT sandbar, it is not a manual one. Uh, CVT, the main issues with CVT is that they break, uh, so we made sure, of course, that this one was <laughs> well serviced and in good condition, which is the case, so yeah, that's a good thing. Other than that, there's not going to be much else to tell you uh, when it comes to defects. It's just in very good condition. And what's most of it in good, most of all in good condition is the interior. We move just the uh, paperwork and the front plate here. The seats are very, very nice. Little bit of stain here. It can be cleaned up. But overall, very, very, very good condition for, for again, uh, what's considered in Japan for a very long time as a throwaway van. Look at this interior. Super, super, super clean. Very rare to find those seats. Rear seats in such good condition. In terms of floor mats, very nice. Like, seriously, everything is super good. And super, super clean in there. So we do have... Uh, rear sunroof, typical issues with those uh, when they have the sunroof. This is not super straight anymore. It does move, but this one still slides correctly without too much problem, so that's pretty good. And on the front also. So let me just start it here. And then you can open the sunroof. That is pretty cool. Slide nicely, no problem, no issues. And that's really a massive sunroof. A little slow to come back. Could be greased, I guess. It takes its time. Mm -hmm. 
try to get it checked a little bit. Yeah, okay, it does need some help. Let me just put the phone down a little bit. with a little bit of help it's closed again so the front one is manual open it like this definitely hasn't been open for a while <laughs> you can see from the top here typical on the cover the cover is in multiple parts and uh, it is surface rust on there they all are like that, so nothing special there. There's nothing else you can get without that. So it is not, like you can see, just surface rust, but it just needs to be cleaned up properly. Uh, it is due to the humidity. It's not because of a leak or anything like that. Uh, humidity in Japan is like really bad, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it really. There's not much else, air conditioning is working. Uh, aftermarket radio and a door open beeping sorry about that but overall very 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 good looking car all right I need my GoPro yep I need my GoPro I need my GoPro oh. <laughs> you are the GoPro <laughs> So that's his car, he's keeping it here and just drive it whenever he comes to visit, so it's filming. Alright, they are ready for some power. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually, they move pretty well actually. They are. This one is supercharged, so earlier you had like the turbocharged Jimny. You're discovering a supercharged. Oh, listen for the Hellcat screen. Oh, you, you'll be surprised on this one. That's gonna block the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 yo. You know what you're, you're dealing with here right away. All the dynamic of driving a tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, they're pretty peppy, really, for what they are. Uh, the main issue, like I said, is uh, the, the CVT gearbox is really bad. Like it's just there's a disintegrate, <laughs> just stop working. What what year is this? This one is 1987. So 87? 97. Oh. oh, so just legal. And it's a real CVT, not one that pretends to shift, you know? Yeah. No, they have seen it's moving, it's pulling, yeah? yeah. I'm not I'm not flooring it or anything. It is really smooth, actually, too. Yes. People tend to be like quite surprised really so it's the first time. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a, such a nice sound of having a car with a CVT gearbox. So that's the only thing that's like it just like <laughs> it just like stays like that. But really it's very smooth, drive super straight. I'm not used to drive them with bigger tires. Mm -hmm. They have like, uh, I think it has like 13 inch tires, which is ah. bigger. <laughs> 13 inches is huge. Yes. We know, <laughs> we know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, overall, like the, the main thing to look at really with those is uh, the gearbox. And this one is really like, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, and specificity also of CVTs, no, foot on the pedal, no foot on the brake pedal, and the car does not move. Yeah. It's not like those uh, normal automatics, where it just like wants to keep going all the time, no matter what. So you have to like, when you go, you have to do it like a little bit smoothly, or it's gonna be like a little bit sudden. Yeah. Suspensions feel good, huh? Yeah. For, uh, for a little van like that. Yeah, it's not exactly pushing my guts into my spine, but it's uh, exactly. nice it's and comfortable. And if you're like a California hipster, you know, that's a perfect <laughs> car for you. That's where this you're, is going. You're a little bit one now. Like, <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'll take East Coast hipster. I'm not a California hipster. 
good. We do spend lots of time there, so I'm just do. saying, you know. Oh, brakes feel good. <laughs> brakes work for the traffic. <laughs> Let's see if the car behind has brakes that work for the traffic too. Oh, you're doing the test for me, that's nice. Yeah. Right up to the top. Just as we don't don't touch hope. things as they fall apart, but I'm just trying not to show it on the camera. You know, so. Should I pull them? No, actually it does fall apart, I just <laughs> showed it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this one. Oh, they, all, a, they all are like that. It's a sectional. Is it in, they, they have to, I don't know how they are in the, to begin with normally, because like they seem like they've never been attached together. So it's like, I do not understand how, and like the last one that I had was the same. They all do like that, so yeah. <laughs> no idea. And we've got the. So it oh. does need help. It does need help to close. Cool. It's like a little bit uh, doesn't slide out. Huh? That's amazing. It's like uh, we, it's a massive sunroof. Like you can have like ten strippers in the back, yeah. and just like all like. And, well, that's, yes, that's you're gonna perfect. have to pay a lot for strippers to get in this car, though. <laughs> well, it feels like you can take it on safari. Strippers on safari? Uh, well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All tanned hides. Uh, it is just a little slow when it tries to like close itself. Oh, this, like, this, like, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, well, it's, it's gonna stop at one point. It just needs help. It already did half its work for the day, so you know. Well, it's going. It's going. No. Ah. <laughs> well, Come we, on, all, honey, honey. we all need a little help sometimes. There you go. Yeah, all right. Seriously, it's pretty nice, really. Like, the interior is really clean. Usually, it's not that nice and clean. Okay, then, so you will see my cave, and I have one. Uh, I have a sim bar like that, without yeah. the sunroof. Yeah. But supercharged and four wheel drive. This one is a rear wheel drive. You can hear also, if you don't know them, the engine is in the rear. It's a rear, it's, it's basically a Porsche, it's a 911. <laughs> Perfect for drifting. Exactly. Look at the power. Yeah. Huh? CVT will just keep you in a perfect power band for, huh? for holding that drift. Exactly. Nice long wheelbase. <laughs> it just moves. It yeah. actually moves well. What does that radio? Special care the This fits the car pretty well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely the last owner picked that radio station. Air conditioning. Mm -hmm. uh, 88,000, I didn't even mention the mileage, but 88,000 kilometer, which is Whoa. pretty low. Yeah. I mean, they, they all tend to be verified all the time when you buy them. Uh, I'm not sure this one is, but I think it is, yes. Just see these are so weird, I'll never get used to them. <laughs> Pretty much everyone on the planet hates them, but I guess they're... You know, it just, it does work, I mean, it's like, it's, it's working, it just... Weird. Yeah, there's not much else to add, really. And then, everything works well. Oh, this one is much more, much more nervous. And it's still a bit slow to go up, but... Oh, but auto up? Auto up! Alright! Oh. So you will see my shitbox uh, uh, sandbar. My shitbox sandbar is king of sandbar. <laughs> I hope it's on some chunky tires. <laughs> it's it's definitely uh, like special. It's been crashed, repaired, a bit repainted. crashed. Uh, it's, been <laughs> it's not. It drives great. That's, that's the only thing that it has for itself. It drives <laughs> really well. It's missing some interior trims and stuff, but it is four wheel drive, it's supercharged and it's manual, so you know, can't have, it, four have wheel everything. Four wheel drive supercharged and manual, I'm trying to think of yes. any other car that has that combination. <laughs> Apex? Yeah. <laughs> it is a Porsche. <laughs> it drives well. It's like uh, for how 
those sandbars are like it is smooth and nice. Like the gearbox is responsive, the steering is like drive straight, suspensions are nice, everything is good with this thing. Yeah, it feels very it's solid. Just been bumped a little bit in the front, uh, yeah. so that will be some work done on the straight side. Just a little kiss. Uh, a fender, like I said, a fender bender, but there's no fenders. <laughs> It just stays at the torque range. <laughs> but can I, like, if I get into. What was it doing with that piece of shit thing in front there? Alright, I guess that's it for the video. And uh, well, as usual, if you have a question, just comment, parse, message him, blah, blah, blah. Bye-bye. Au revoir.